okay so welcome back to b right in this video we are going to make this this was the single player project made by cyber lod so yeah we will replicate this the download link is in the description and the firing works both on server and the client so that should not be an issue in the last video that we did for the replication of this template there were certain issues which we have solved in this video so yeah this should be a base for the other videos okay so welcome to the screen now let's just get started so basically you will have to open your default pawn class let's just open it it is present in the aim uh, let me just drag this up yeah it's present in the AA anim starter pack folder you can just go and use it from there so the first thing which we need to do is replicate the sprint as usual just drag this up here now this logic is same as the last video so no much changes here create a custom event sprint on server copy this command c command v and use things like that and from here you just need to do uh yeah you just need to call the sprint on server event and put the condition here now select this sprint on server go to the replicate section and make it run on server so if we use two clients now play as client so as you can see i can now sprint though the animation is not yet replicated and also uh, if i look at the character and look up and down it's not replicated so what we need to do is create a new function name this replicate control rotation create a branch then make an or statement and for the first one check is locally controlled or has authority if this is true then get the controller and then get the control rotation from here right click this and replicate it name this control rotation rep go to the replication section make this replicated and replication should the condition should skip the owner now make this true and make a return node compile and save now get to your viewport select the character now go to this anim class and open it now in the update section you see we get the actor rotation but we need to uh, yeah in the aim offset in the in aim offset we need to remove this get control rotation because this is not replicated so you just need to remove this and from here you need to get control rotation rep and put it here compile and save let's see if it is now replicated if i look up uh it's not replicated one more thing which we need could need to do is we need to get to the event graph and create a, an event tick event event tick and then call this replicate control rotation event now this should be replicated so yeah now this is replicated and it is smooth also so let's move on to the next function so the next function is fire 
so yeah let's get started now open this on file node and select this hit scan so this time replicating the fire would be a different thing because now if you look at the fire it's getting the socket rotation that from the uh, from the weapon mesh now this is not replicated and is only present on the client i don't know why but yeah that's the thing so we need to pass this value from the client to the server so let's do that so for that we will go to the this graph and create a custom event name this fire on server then create one more event name this fire on client and then last event not last we need more but we will name this fire two on server and one last event <laughs> now this will be used for animations fire on multicast i will let you know why we are doing that so set make this fire on server run on server fire on client run on own in client fire two on server run on server and then fire on multicast compile and save get to your hit scan logic and you can either directly copy this yeah let's just copy that to make the code cleaner and on the owning oh sorry on fire to on server paste this now the line trace should happen on the server but not the calculation of this thing so we will calculate the start and end value on the client itself so just remove this and drag this and make it as a variable on server so now what we need to do is from the first fire on server event we will call fire on client so this will call the client event and then on the client we will do this calculation yeah. and after we do that we will call this server event fire to on server from the client itself fire to on server now the start value is this I believe and the end value was this let me just check yeah so this value iron side one was the start value so pass this as the start value and pass this as the end value so now this would be called on the server and this should be replicated that means now if you even crouch and fire it's, it should be replicated yeah it's good now last time if we shoot it down it didn't shoot which i didn't cover in the video so now let's the hit scan logic is done now we we need to copy this and this and this also and go to the event graph paste this up here drag in the ce fire here call the play montage on the multicast function we made so because we are not calling the multicast function so we need to go to the on the server and call the multicast fire on multicast and play camera shake should happen on the owning client so after we calculate the value we can just have it on the owning client one more thing we need to replace this on fire sorry i skipped that in the last part but yeah and on none we can just call fire on server and same way here fire on server compile and save let's check yeah it's perfect you can see the animations and the camera shake is also working as we expected so now the aim downsides as usual doesn't have an animation 
so we cannot replicate anything in the aim down sides but we can replicate crouch if it is it if it is not replicated yeah it is not replicated so we will have to replicate it so that should be simple we can just make this a run on server event i don't think we need to do anything else let me just check no it should be we need to call one more function create a new custom event make this ce toggle crouch on multiple oh sorry on multicast and make it a multicast event drag this here and drag the condition here so on toggle just call this multi cast and this should be the function now yeah this is replicated as you can see so i don't think anything else is left everything has been replicated so yeah thanks for watching in the next video we are going to create three to four game modes we are coming up with a lot of game modes tutorial and all those tutorial which you guys requested so stay tuned for that and yeah thank you for watching this video